as well in a tweet stroll for Dunrock tonight followed by another 4-2 penalty what was your assessment on that? I think in the first half for large parts we are good um, we get a goal up we score a really good goal good play by Aaron down the, down the right and delighted for Cammy to get in there and get his first goal for the club uh, second half they changed their shape a little bit matched us up and I felt we just didn't deal with it well enough we were a little bit naive probably against the run of play we scored a second goal um, and instead of kind of getting confidence on that we probably went into a bit of survival mode and you know, protection mode a little bit too early um, we probably do the, the wrong things for the right reasons in that I think we feel maybe under pressure a little bit and we think you know the best thing to do is just clear it and get away from your goal when it ends up being counterproductive the ball kept coming back and we just needed to show a bit more composure in that spell uh, but credit to Sean Rye, you know, he scored two quick goals and put us on the back foot and kind of funnily enough after that we kind of did what we were supposed to do with some really good passages to play and we created probably another couple of chances that we could have nicked it 3-2 but it wasn't to be and um, spoke to the players about kind of what we expect when it is like that and listen they need to go through it especially the young ones to, to know they've been there and be better the next time but we did a good job clearing our heads at the end of the game uh, to get another penalty win so credit to you know all the players but Gaston again comes up with good saves and uh, Callum the goalie coach has done his, his homework again he was confident he knew where the penalties were going um, we want the three points but we'll take our two yeah touching on there Aaron we are coming into the team today slightly in force to a couple of injuries you must be delighted for him to kick on from his midweek performance away to Hamilton yeah I thought he did really well against Hamilton um, and I thought he deserved his, his uh, start in the in team tonight uh, Bailey Dahl coming in on, on the left hard for him you know, he's just turned up tonight um, and there's a couple of things you know, just my preference over maybe how he plays in the B team that we'll work on with him so no criticism but just you know, trying to get up to how we're trying to put it together here a little bit but I thought he was really good in the first half um, and second half like the rest of them he had to just kind of dig in and you know, defend his defend his corner if you like and I thought he did that well um, and listen they all did but it's just you know, the team's new together in that there's some really young boys um, I say you kind of do things for the right reasons but actually ends up being counterproductive um, and they need to they need to go through tonight to feel that pressure and know next time how to deal with it a little bit better um, and I say near the end of the game we could have, could have nicked it with some really good play that you know, we need to just show it a bit more of that in the second half when we felt under pressure for whatever reason we went into a bit of I say kind of survival mode or just you know, feeling under pressure so just I wouldn't say panicked but you know just they're just kind of clearing it and just feel our oh, you know, get away from here sort of thing um, but I say late on we showed composure and then real good composure in the penalties again Yeah, Cameron McKinley coming out in as well for his first start for the we must be delighted for him to score and hopefully to kick on from that Yeah, he's been a bit unfortunate we're, you know, we're trying to select teams to win games as well as get everyone fit and um, I liked uh, uh, Ali and Speedy up there for the last couple um, we're just kind of trying to think ahead and you know, he, needs, he needs game time and he, need, he deserves his opportunity as well uh, he's done well when he came on, especially at Hamilton. Um, and he did a lot of good things in the first half, and he was a handful, and he gets a goal, so that'll do him the world of good. And then, same in the second half, Ali, he's just been uh, chomping away a little bit and working away, and things just haven't quite fallen for him. Um, and he's in the right place to, to you know, get him up and running as well. So, loads of positives, I say, and just a little bit in that kind of second half when we feel under pressure, we just need to deal with it better. But we need to kind of go through tonight, probably, to, to be better going forward. Yeah, just fine. There was no, no Dale Houston in the squad tonight. Is there an update on him? No, he just felt uh, a bit of tightness after the Hamilton game. Uh, and I just made a call tonight that, you know, I didn't need to risk him. Uh, we're looking at the bigger picture a bit. I don't need to put him on the pitch. We've got some young ones, we'll, we'll, we'll play them. No problem putting them in. Um, and we're just trying to manage it and trying to look at the bigger picture that I don't need boys out for two and three weeks when I could just give them a day off. So um, we need everyone at the moment and uh, just managing through. Excellent. Alan. All right, thank you. Cheers.